happy to take whatever questions you uh, you might have. So uh, I'd like to begin today by updating you on our efforts to recover the debris of several objects that the United States Air Force shot down over the last few days, as well as that of the spy balloon belonging to the People's Republic of China. And I'd like to put into some context for you how we have worked and are still working to better understand the issue of high altitude, low speed craft. Now let me start with the Chinese program. When President Biden came into office, he directed the U.S. intelligence community to do a broad assessment of Chinese intelligence capabilities and to assure, and to ensure that we were working to detect and to protect against them. I think for reasons that you will all understand, we cannot publicly go into many details about how we discover uh, and counteract foreign intelligence collection efforts, because much of what we have done and are doing is, of course, sensitive. But we were able to determine that China has a high-altitude balloon program for intelligence collection that's connected to the People's Liberation Army. It was operating during the previous administration, but they did not detect it. We detected it. We tracked it. Didn't, they didn't detect and we it because you didn't tell them. It to learn as much as we can. We know that these PRC surveillance balloons have crossed over dozens of countries on multiple continents around the world, including some of our closest allies and partners. We assessed that at this time, these balloons have provided limited additive capabilities to the PRC's other intelligence platforms used over the United States. But in the future, if the PRC continues to advance this technology, it certainly could become more valuable for them. The President also instructed the intelligence community to take a broad look at the phenomenon of unidentified aerial objects. Indeed, President Biden conducted the first ever daily intelligence briefing session devoted to this phenomenon back in June. 2021. He was briefed that this is not just an issue for the United States, but one for the rest of the world. And as I said, our friends and our partners are dealing with this as well. We worked on a bipartisan basis to stand up an office at the Pentagon to study this in partnership with the intelligence community, academic institutions, and the private sector. These unidentified aerial phenomena have been reported for many years without explanation or deep examination by the government. President Biden has changed That's because they're aliens. We are finally you trying to understand them better. What you guys won't now, tell us on. In light of the Chinese balloon program and this recent incursion into our airspace, the United States and Canada, through NORAD, have been more closely scrutinizing that airspace, including enhancing our radar capabilities, which, as the commander of NORTHCOM and NORAD, General Van Herc, said just last night, may at least partially explain the increase in the objects that have been detected. Slow-moving objects at high altitude with a small radar cross-section are difficult to detect on radar. Even objects the size of a, the Chinese spy balloon, which had a payload the size of roughly three school buses, were not picked up by previous administrations or other countries. Because you didn't we tell them, stupid. We also know that a range of entities, including countries, companies, research, and academic organizations, operate objects at these altitudes for purposes that are not nefarious at all, including scientific research. That said, because we have not yet been able to def definitively assess what these most recent objects are, you are we have out of an abundance of caution to protect the security, our security, our interest, and flight safety. In Saturday's case, we acted in consultation with the Canadian government, the president speaking personally with, the, with Prime Minister Trudeau. The spy balloon was, of course, different because we knew the UFO it was, was As different. We, said, we do not assess that these most recent objects pose any direct threat to people on the ground, and we are laser focused on confirming their nature and purpose, including through intensive efforts to collect debris in the remote locations where they have fallen. In each instance, we have followed the same basic course. We Please subscribe for updates. Any kinetic threat to people on the ground. They did not. We assessed whether they were sending any communication signals. We detected none. We looked to see whether they were maneuvering or had any pr propulsion capabilities. We saw no signs of that. And we made sure to determine whether or not they were manned. They were not. We did, however, assess no, they were alien. that their altitudes were considerably lower than the Chinese high altitude balloon and did pose a threat to civilian commercial air traffic. 
And while we have no specific reasons to suspect that they were so awful funny that any kind, we categorize Area 51 as a balloon. That is why the president, and what at the recommendation, pissed the aliens off. They sent up another balloon. Joint Chiefs of Staff and the North North Con Norad Commander gave the order to shoot them down. They have a, a sense of humor too. These missions were completed successfully and safely. Efforts are actively underway right now at all sites to find what is left of those objects so that we can better understand and communicate with the American people what they are. I think it's important to remind the objects in Alaska and Canada are in pretty remote terrain, ice and wilderness, all of that making it difficult to find them. In Good way to place. stall the American people. The object over Lake Huron now lies in what is probably very deep water. We can make so it to the moon, but we can't make it to the water. What are we doing? Well, first, stalling the American we're people. To monitor. There are no active tracks today, but the professionals at NORAD will continue to do their important work. Secondly, we are consulting with allies and partners on the challenge of identified aerial phenomena and how we can all work together to deal with that challenge. The president has directed the Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, and the Director of National Intelligence to engage with their relevant counterparts to share information and to try to gain their perspectives as well. Again, this is an issue that affects everybody around the world. Third, we will continue to brief members of Congress and relevant state leadership on what we are doing and what we learn. President about the aliens. A very top priority. We have over the course of just the last few days and certainly over the course of last week reached out to inform and brief members and of Congress. And since area they won of the operations that we were conducting and of the recovery operations that are underway. We've also kept Congress briefed generally on this issue of Chinese surveillance. Very general. Including classified briefings last August. And last week, administration officials provided classified briefings for all senators and all members of the House of Representatives on the PRC surveillance balloon. We fully expect and anticipate and support the ability to continue these briefings in the days ahead. And fourth, the president, through his national security advisor, has today directed my hands getting numb holding it here to study the broader policy implications for detection, analysis, and disposition of unidentified aerial objects that pose either safety or security risks. Every element of the government will redouble their efforts to understand and mitigate these events. And I'm happy to take some questions. Um, John, if the objects don't pose a military threat and they don't pose a threat to anybody on the ground, why shoot them down? Particularly because the military has uh, is routinely monitoring radar, you know, radar blitz. I kind of covered that in the opening statement. Um, two real reasons here. First, there was a very real potential risk to civilian air traffic. The one shot down on Saturday, I'm sorry, uh, yesterday, uh, was about 20,000 feet. And the two shot down Friday and Saturday were at about 40,000 feet. And as you know, transcontinental air traffic is roughly around 30,000 feet. It depends, of course, on, on weather. And so uh, because we assessed that they weren't manned and weren't being controlled, uh, therefore left to atmospheric conditions, um, the, the real risk to safety of, of flight was, was a problem. The second purpose, and I talked about this earlier too, was even though we had no indications that any of these three objects were surveilling, we couldn't rule that out. And so there, you know, you, you want to err on the side of safety here in terms of protecting our national security interests and the fact that these objects uh, could have and, uh, and likely did at some point in their path uh, transit over, you know, potential military sites of ours or sensitive sites. Uh, so again, out of an abundance of caution for those two reasons, the president, with the recommendation of his military leaders, directed them to be taken down. Because it's so unprecedented, um, should the public be hearing from the president directly on this? Well, I, I, we should, but he's too chicken. Uh, uh, I think as transparent as we can be. I, I won't speak for the president's uh, the, the personal uh, speaking schedule, but I mean... He's he too busy on vacation. Engaged ...in uh, every one of these decisions. He's been kept informed, including as of this morning, on uh, what's going on with recovery efforts. Um, and... Uh, and uh, he's very much staying on top of the issue and uh, yeah, he's staying on top of that, right? To make sure we are properly consulting and briefing not just members of Congress but state leaders as well 
He's hiding in the basement. It comes down to one simple formulation, and that's if at the recommendation of his military leaders, he believes that the safety and security of the United States, the safety and security of the American people, his prime responsibility, warrant that kind of a decision. So it's possible we would see these shoot downs on a regular basis like we saw over the weekend? I don't think it's useful for me to get ahead of where we are right now. The president will always side on preserving and protecting the safety and security of the American people. You said we're not supplying any surveillance balloons. Alright, I don't want this video to go that long, so I'll keep you updated in the next ones. God bless and please subscribe. Subscribe.